because Yosef didn't know what happened to his mother. He was busy being prime minister of Mitzrayim, and he did not know what happened to his mother. Was Rachel Yosef's mother? Obviously. So he was saying, look, here's what happened to mom. This is what happened to mom, but Yosef, this is what's about to happen to your two sons. Talk to me now, or I'll sit down. <laughs> this is what happened to your mom. She died on the road to Bethlehem. But don't worry, there's good news. The same way Reuben and Shimeon are Kadosh and Yisrael in Yahweh's sight, so shall your children born in Mitzrayim. I was born in Cuba. Yahweh knows how to take a Cuban and make him an Israelite. I was born in, in Jamaica. Yahweh knows how to take someone born in Jamaica and turn him into a Jew maker. Someone was born in Eastern Israel. Someone was born in the Virgin Islands. Yahweh knows how to take somebody from the Virgin Islands and bring them back to the Israelite heritage. Bring them back to the Israelite roots. Bring them back to the Israelite home. Yahweh knows how to do that. Israel beheld Yosef's two sons, Ephraim and Menashe, and he said, who are these? Now, wait a second. How could Yaakov say in one hand, they're going to be Israel, and second, not know who they are? Because Yaakov, because Israel, Yaakov, listen, is testing Yosef, listen, to see if he, ha if he has understood the revelation and the declaration that one day he will take these e boys born in Egypt and return them to the commonwealth of Israel. So he's testing Joseph, he's testing Joseph, and says, now, before we go any further and give you new revelation and further revelation, do you understand who these are? In other words, can I take you to second base now that you've understood first base? Who are these? Who are these? Yosef, here's a test. Only a father can get away testing the prime minister of Mitzrayim. He's putting the prime minister of Mitzrayim through a test. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Israel beheld Yosef's sons and said, who are these? You could make the case that Yaakov's eyes were diminishing. He was sick, he was old, and his eyesight was gone. Well, let, let's, make the case, let's make the case that Yaakov was basically legally blind. So much for that doctrine that tells you, well, if you serve Yahweh, no sickness is going to come to you, no problems, no, no evil, no attacks of the enemy. Yahweh wants, Yeshua wants you rosy and posy and rosy, tiptoeing through to Here's a promise. You like the promises of Yeshua? You like the promises of the Word? You like to stand on the Word? Here's a promise. In the world, you will have tribulation. In me, you will have peace. Fear not. I'll tell you I have overcome the world. Yochanan 16, 33. Here's a promise to stand on. And Israel beheld Yosef's sons and said, Who are these? I'm going blind. Are you as blind as I am? I'm physically blind, Yosef, but don't be spiritually blind. Our father Jacob was blind. People in Israel get sick, but they also get healed. But either way, he is the Yeshua of the blind and the seen. He is the Yeshua of the living and the dead, for all live to him. Therefore, if we are alive, we are Yeshua's. If we are dead, we are Yeshua's. Therefore, whether we live or whether we die, we are Yeshua's. Baruch Hashem Yeshua's commitment to you carries into eternity. It doesn't end when your years on earth end. Baruch Hashem Amen. Verse 9. Again, this message laying hands on Ephraim again. And Yosef said to his Abba, Hey, Jack. I, can we talk? I, I, I really hate it when my Jewish people take Jacob and turn it into Jake or Isaac into Itzi or Isidore. When you, when you meet a Jewish dude that's named Isidore, you know what they're doing? They're running from their real name. Isidore, you see, it's Chak. Oiving. How many have heard of a Jewish person called Oiving? Oiving. Nice name, right? Oiving. The actual Hebrew name is Yitzchak. Jake, Jack, Jacobo, 
These are all surnames for Yaakov. We, we've been talking, we'll talk some more. I used to be Pastor Marshall. I pastored three churches. No problem. I know how to. I know how to run a three ring circus. I've done it before. That's not a problem. But then one day I realized something. Time out. I was born Jewish. My parents were Jewish. My birth name is Moshe. See, most Messianic Nazarene Israelite rabbis, they get saved and they have to look for a Hebrew name. Okay? So Bob becomes Michael. You know, or, um, you know, Elroy becomes Eliezer. Come on now. I didn't have to look for a Hebrew name. It's right on my birth certificate. Moshe Yosef. Kanyachowski. When I went into business, they gave me the name Marshall because my boss told me you'll never make any sales. It's too Jewish. Jewish guy used to tell me to leave my Jewish name. Anyway, I don't know how I got started. So I'm going to stop. Now watch this. But I was Pastor Marshall. But now I'm Rabbi Moshe. How did that happen? I was born Jewish. I figured it out. Baruch Hashem Melon. And Yosef said to his Abba, Abba, these are my sons, whom Elohim has given me in this place, Mishraim. And he said, and ya Yaakov said, please bring them to me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age, meaning he was probably legally blind, so that he could not see. And he brought them near to him, and he kissed Ephraim and Menashe, and he embraced them. Here's a question, those of you who are born again, saved, blood washed, and redeemed. When the other house of Israel comes to you and identifies themselves as the house of Joseph, return it. Do you kiss them and do you embrace them? Or do you say, no, you're not. Stop trying to be Jewish. Or you're just a bunch of Jewish wannabes. You guys get that all the time. If you're a returning Ephraimite from the ten tribes, you get that all the time. Well, you go to that synagogue because you're just a Jewish wannabe. You want to be Jewish and you want to act Jewish. And, but no, no, no. Here's the truth. The truth is... Those people who cannot see deny you your Israelite heritage. And yet when, when, when Ephraim and Manasseh are revealed as the grandchildren of Israel, it is up to the rest of Israel to embrace them and to kiss them. The reason you love this congregation is not because I'm smarter or more good looking, that's for sure, or more handsomer, or have a titter, 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 tum, 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 tum. That's not why you love this. You love this place because we don't just talk about race relations, we've solved it. Down with Korean churches, down with Spanish churches, down with white churches, down with black churches. The doctrine of the one Israel, the two houses becoming a hot, is the bomb, is the healing, is the solution Amen. for the divisions of humanity. We are Israel. We are all Israel. Every one of us is Israel. That's what it means. Listen. Listen. That's what it means. That's what it means. There's no Jew, there's no Gentile, there's no male, there's no female. It doesn't mean there are no females. Thank Yahweh there are females. Yeah. <laughs> what it means is, if you understand who these are, you'll see that you're Joseph's children returning, and it's up to I as a Jew to embrace you and to kiss you. As Israel. As Israel. Laying hands on Ephraim again. Baruch Hashem. And Yosef said to his Abba, these are my sons, whom Elohim has given me in this place. And Yisrael said, please bring them to me to bless them. Let me ask you a question to Jewish believers who are listening to my voice. When the sons of Israel, of Ephraim, Menashe and Ephraim, the sons of Israel, return and come back and are willing to leave Egypt rather than die in Egypt, will you bless them or will you push them away. You know why Jewish believers don't teach the two houses of Israel? Because it's a thing of pride and arrogance. They think that only they as Jews can obey the Torah, but all you sons of Joseph who are from the ten tribes of Israel, you're not as spiritual as we are. What they're really telling you is we'll keep the blessings for ourselves. Thank you. We won't share them with you. Because obeying the Torah brings you abundance and blessings. So what they're really saying is, oh, didn't you hear? Hear what? Didn't you hear? Hear what? That the Gentiles don't have to obey the Torah. Well, yeah, I thought.